Hello all, welcome back to Audiology with Khwaja. In today's video, we're going to see about how to apply for the Good Standing Certificate, what are the documents required for it, and how to go about it in the portal. Let's get into the video. Before we could enter anything in the RCI website, we need to have four documents scanned and kept it ready to upload it. The four documents are, the first two are the good standing certificate from two separate prominent person, preferably your principal or the professors of the college. The next two document is your degree certificate and the RCI certificate. This one is a format for the good standing certificate. This format is not given by the RCI and I got this from one of our fellow ASLP. You could use this or you could use any format that is available to you. The two documents, the RCI certificate and the degree certificate has to be self-attested. That means we will photocopy, we will sign it in the Xerox one. And the other two also has to be scanned. Once we enter into the RCI portal, we will choose applying for the good standing certificate. Then it will display what it all already has about us, which means the name, the address, everything. It has already been saved in our portal. And we will, when we scroll down, we have a space to enter whatever the first prominent person is giving in the letter. So we have a letter, good standing certificate obtained from the first prominent person. We will enter it. We will type it here, whatever the letter has. And then we look at the second good standing certificate from the second prominent person and we will type it everything here. And then we will mention who this first prominent person is and the second prominent person is. Make sure it doesn't have any spelling mistakes because your good standing certificate is going to have the thing that you're going to type it here. And while mentioning about the person, don't forget to mention the full name and the address and the designation of theirs. And then when we scroll down we have to upload the documents the first two documents are the good standing certificate that they have given uh, number one and number two the other two attack certificate three and four is your rca certificate and degree certificate and whichever order you would like to upload you can do it once we press the upload it is going to show you uh, that it has to be less than 200 KB which we already know so we will uh, choose the file from your la laptop and then we will enter this uh, numbers and then we will submit it once we submit it's going to display it and you have to check mark this that I accept the terms and conditions and you will be will be paying a fee of 1500 so once we submit it it is going to take us to the payment page and then when we press pay fee it is going to give us an option of how we want to make the payment and we could choose the debit or credit card and uh, we will have 15 minutes to complete it so make sure you make all the payments within 15 minutes and it is preferably go with a debit card don't go with uh, net banking and again preferably a bank that is privatized which means the uh, those data servers are a bit quick and that's what we are getting it from the fellow aslps that when they go with uh usually uh the uh, public banks the service is not that much fast and the payment is getting failed so it's not promoting uh private banks but this is what we have found it from our experience so now that once you have submitted it's going to give you an acknowledge form save it for the future reference and this will also be sent to the RCI. Previously, for our fresh application, of our additional qualification, or for any other thing, we were only making it online and no hard copies were sent to the RCI physically. But here for the good standing certificate, we have to send it. Why? Because when they send back the good standing certificate, it is going to be exactly your acknowledgement copy that you just print and send to RCI. They are only going to put a seal over that and that will be your good standing certificate. No specific certificate will be provided. Okay. So we have to send it to this address. Okay. Rest are outdated ones, but I'm showing this to know about the address to send it to the RCI. Now, what has to be sent physically in the envelope to the RCI? The first one is your uh, acknowledgement copy. The next, you have to send the original 
good standing certificate that you have received from prominent person one and two and then your two self-attested copy of the rci certificate and your degree certificate so you're totally sending five documents as a hard copy acknowledgement two good standing certificate from the two separate prominent person and the two certificate the degree and the uh, rci certificate this has to be sent in a single envelope to the rci and when they send it back when they send your good standing certificate it is going to be your acknowledgement copy they will seal it that it's approved and that you can scan and use it for your licensing purpose when you are applying abroad thank you for watching